many of you at home in your medical records have a current chart showing how your hearing is and all the pitches and frequencies? Okay, those hands that go up, I encourage you if you don't update at least every couple of years update those records. Your hearing system, your, when sound hits your eardrum, it vibrates it and sends that vibration through a series of three small bones to a complex network in our inner ear called our cochlea, where 26,000 tiny little hearing nerves send electric impulses to the auditory processing part of your brain called the auditory cortex. All the recent research has shown us that when this flow of electricity to the brain stops, there are changes in the brain. The first one, the Pennsylvania School of Medicine noted, was brain atrophy sets in in the processing center. And years later, I can get sound to the brain, but the brain can't turn it into language any longer. So that's the one where you have a friend or a neighbor or somebody at the church that everybody's been after him to get his ears fixed for 15, 20 years. He finally gets hearing aids. Everybody's excited. How you doing, Bob? said the world's a lot louder, but it isn't any clearer at all. You have just witnessed the result of what is referred to as auditory deprivation, meaning the brain has been deprived of these electric impulses, and that part of it is totally irreversible. Johns Hopkins found that after they did more research, brain shrinkage also occurs. The only other place we'd ever witnessed brain shrinkage was in the cognitive arena, your memory, dementia, and Alzheimer's. And Johns Hopkins launched landmark research that I think some of you have in your possession now that showed mild, untreated hearing loss actually doubles the risk of having memory problems later in life, doubles the risk of dementia, doubles the risk of Alzheimer's moderate, which is the level where most people kind of sort of begrudgingly will admit to their friends there's something going wrong. Moderate untreated hearing loss makes it three times as likely and severe untreated. Now untreated means not wearing the hearing aids. If you wear the hearing aids, that added increase will send these electric impulses to the brain and this seems to mitigate all of them. So, they use the analogy of your brain being like your computer. Well, data is getting into your computer all day, every day, through each of our five senses. So as I'm rubbing my fingers across this tablecloth, my sense of touch tells me if it's smooth or if it's rough. When I smell something, I know if it's fresh or stale, and when we taste it, we know if it's bitter or sweet. But most of the data getting into your computer all day, every day, is our eyes what we see and read, and our ears what we hear. And there's a phraseology you've often heard in the computer field that says, garbage in, garbage out. And that ongoing misinformation begins to take its toll. Dr.